What is up my Bodyway Warriors and welcome back to another video, the second episode of the Bodyweight Basics series. I was just literally got back this morning from a few days in Belfast with the Ardor team. I met up with Emma Lewis, Mikkel Christiansen and a bunch of people had an awesome time. If you haven't already seen the Ballistic Pancake video of Emmett, there's another video coming next week, so stay tuned for that. I've also got one of these, so I guess you know what time it is. Another coffee time with Tom. Today I wanna to talk to you about the title of today's video, which is my worst training mistakes. There's a reason I want to talk to you about this and that's because I'm kind of sort of injured again. Yeah. Basically when I was away these past four days I may have done a little bit too much one arm handstand training and from where my shoulder was weak before from that super splinters tear it's kind of just inflamed that bicep tendon up a little bit. So I'm taking it easy for a couple of weeks. I'm backing off the handstand work. I kind of just got a little bit overexcited and wanted to top into the one arm handstands. Whereas in reality, I probably just need a couple of more weeks of rehab, stability, strengthening. I'm not actually really injured as of yet, but I just feel that if I do continue, then that injury could occur, which kind of leads me on to the first of my very bad training mistakes and that is pushing through pain. It, it's just it's just not sensible. If there is pain, I mean like pain, not, not discomfort, but actual pain, then there is a reason that your body is sending you this signal. And it's something that I ignored, a little bit of tendonitis in the elbows that could have put me out for two to four weeks, ended up putting me out for six to eight months and still kind of affects me now. Because I chose to ignore and push through that pain, it made it 10 times worse. So I have learned from that mistake and I suggest you do the same and that's what I'm doing now. I know this, if I carry on training while I'm handstand for the next couple of weeks, I probably could get through it. Like I don't have that much pain, I can do a lot of stuff, but it just could be worse. I just don't want that. Number two is not following a plan. The times that I've got the best results in my training, two occasions. The first was the project plant. That's when I saw some of the best progress that I've made in the plant and that's because I stuck to a program solidly for eight weeks and I didn't deviate from the plan. I saw really good progress. The second time was when I bought a program from Jordan Garcia and I stuck to it again for six weeks and I actually achieved the one arm chin up. Those are the two times in recent time that I can think about the I've actually stuck to a program and not just kind of done what I felt like doing in the gym. And that was part of the reason I wanted to make this bodyweight basic series is because I wanted to create a program and have a reason to stick to it which is you guys. Point number three and my final bad training habit that I wanted to mention to you is trying to move on to advanced moves too soon. There's that old saying, don't run before you can walk. And this so, 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 so applies to bodyweight training. And it's again, part of the reason for this series, I'm gonna be focusing very much on basic movements, basic principles. I know the one arm handstand isn't basic. That's kind of a personal goal, but the rest of my training is very much about fundamentals for 90% of people doing the basics and doing them really, really well will get you so many good results. So that is kind of my training mistakes. What can you think of in recent training history that you've made a mistake that you wouldn't make now? Let me know in the comments down below. So I'm not looking for any sympathy when it comes to this injury. It's just one of those things that happens. It's another thing that I've learned that I can try to avoid doing in the future. If anything, I feel like it could have been worse. <laughs> but that doesn't mean, unfortunately, there's not going to be any one-arm handstand stuff in today's session. I'm just taking a rest. You know, I said be focusing on some basics, just some push-ups, some rows, and a little bit of shoulder stability in the garden. One of the reasons I wanted to create this story is just general training stuff, being honest about what happens. Sometimes things get in the way and they set you back a couple of weeks. Stay positive, learn what you can from them, fix it, and then get right back on track. Because one of my goals this year is also to build a little bit of mass, this routine is actually going to be a really good routine for those who are looking to build a little bit of size. You might want to add a little bit more volume that I'm doing in this particular workout, but in terms of how the exercises are designed, the exercises used, definitely pretty good for building some mass. 
This bit of the workout though is less about the muscle building, more about the stabilization. If you don't know what I'm listening to here, it's actually a metronome, so. Which is just one beat every second, so I can just time the tempo of reps. Been using it a lot lately. This is when the mass building, also tendon strengthening focus comes in. First one, isometric contraction on the chest. We're just looking to pre-fatigue the chest before jumping into some push-ups. This is where those bands come in really useful if you have limited equipment when it comes to training. <sighs> On to some pulling. For the pull, I'm using this band just to activate lower trap rhomboid before I jump into rows. And the same principle as we're doing with the isometric chest contractions. basically the two triceps three to four sets on each you may need to up the intensity for the push-ups and the rows but with that 10 second eccentric they're pretty brutal I am using bands quite a lot in today's session. I could have used weights in parts, but I just find that I like bands more at the moment. They're just kind of useful and easy to carry about. But that's basically it for the main bulk of today's workout. A little bit more of a mass gain focused. I do recommend you try this out. You may want to use a little bit more volume or add this into the end of your normal upper body session. But for now, there's one last thing that I need to do and I haven't really been looking forward to it. If you haven't seen yet already, I posted a video with Emmett Lewis and we covered this ballistic pancake stretching drill that you can give a try if you want to have loads of fun. Uh, I'm currently on day three. My pancake, I can get completely flat within one set of warming up. However, I thought why not give this a go since I recommended it and I think maybe sometimes you should practice what you preach. So I'm currently on day three as of recording this video. I actually got a reasonable amount of doms at the moment so it's probably going to be a little tight to start off with. If you want to see the routine I'll link it down below. Oh and also this is done from basically cold apart from the training I've just been doing.
Oh, that's set number one. Two more to go. A few moments later. And that is basically it. This is my go-to post-workout at the moment. Got a couple of scoops of whey in there, coconut water, a couple of bananas, almond butter, and coconut. I already said coconut water. Basically sugary protein. I know whey protein isn't the best, but it's easy and it's cheap. Um, and it tastes pretty good. As I said, this workout is something that you could maybe throw on at the end of your upper body session to like add a mass building element to it, or you could expand it and add a couple more exercises and it'll be a pretty solid body weight, mainly mass building session. As for me, I'm sure by next week, things will be looking a little bit more up. My shoulder really isn't that bad. I just don't want it to get worse. I'm just prehabbing it and making precautions to make sure that I don't screw myself for another six months this year. As always guys, if you have any questions about today's video, about the vlog, about anything I've talked about, leave a comment down below. Tell me about your training mistakes that you've made in the past. If you just enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel while you're down there. Why not hit that subscribe button? Join the Bodyweight Warrior tribe. There is new videos every single week, tutorials, vlogs, all that sort of good stuff. But that has been it for this week guys. Have a strong and stretchy week. Peace.